Have you got a, a leaky pipe on the side of your property, an overflowing water pipe somewhere, either, well, in this case, usually from a high up the roof space, um, out of the fascia boards of your property. If you have, if there's water teeming down, then it's likely to be coming from your storage tank. Good news, it's very easy to repair. So I'm gonna take you through a small tutorial showing you how to do so. So I'm gonna isolate the water, which is easy to do on this tank. It's just a matter of turning this valve, um, but just make sure you are isolating the water in some way if you are going to replace this valve. If you can't find any way to isolate the valve in the roof space, then you could turn off the water main to the property. So the water is isolated and it's just going to be a matter of taking this nut off which connects the cold feed to the ball valve. An adjustable spanner is all I'm using here but I believe it's a 24mm spanner if you want to use the exact one. Just disconnecting the back nut. This nut here bolts the ball valve to the side of the water tank. Uh, it's just a small plastic nut which comes usually comes off quite easily um, so I can then remove the ball valve from the tank. advise when purchasing a new ball valve to get an adjustable one on a bent arm uh, that way you can set the ball valve to suit the level of the water uh, here I'm just setting it to the, to the highest possible level um, and I will test accordingly and adjust it if needed um, to the right height Now I just want to show you this fibre washer. This connects the pipe to the valve um, and you can see that it was split or it, it's always good practice to replace these if you are changing the ball valve. They are a half inch fibre washer and you can it goes between the nut there and the pipe thread. Now I'm happy that the valve is nice and secure, I've turned the water back on, uh, it's just key for me now to make sure that the new valve uh, shuts off correctly and fills correctly, um, so I'm going to go through a few tests now to make sure that happens. Right, so I'm happy with that, job done, I put the lid back on the tank and it's good to go.